Hi guys, I'm Abby, owner of Call the Wild Dog Sled Tours in Teton Village, Wyoming, and I'm gonna take you on a dog sled ride today. Um, so as you can see, we have eight very excited Alaskan Huskies hooked up pulling us today. So if you're watching this video, you might say they don't look like your traditional Huskies that you see in the movies, and you are correct. What they are using in movies is Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies, which are a pure breed. What we have is a breed that comes from the Gold Rush era. All of those miners started bringing every kind of dog breed up to Alaska because they were useful for transportation. When they got bored, they started racing dog teams and they started adding things in like German short hair pointer, Greyhound, all of these long and lean dogs into the breeds that were already up there, the Husky and the Malamute. And that's what created the Alaskan Husky and that's what we're using today because they are long and lean and fast, but they are also still very sturdy. All right. <laughs> A lot of people, when they get to Wyoming and Jackson in uh, particular, they wonder what's the difference between Jackson Hole and Jackson. And if you look around us right now, we are surrounded on all sides by mountains. We are essentially in a hole in the mountains. A hole is a trapper term. This area was watered down by those predators. 
French fur trappers. Um, and Davy Jackson was the fur trapper that claimed this valley as his own. So when we talk about Jackson Hole, we are talking about the entire valley. Whereas when we talk about Jackson, that is just one town within Jackson. wildlife on our trails and this is actually a really good example we normally do not because we essentially have a pack of wolves leading our sled um, we actually have had more wildlife this past week because it's springtime animals are moving um, and so we have some moose in front of us so we are going to just move on past because moose are known to charge dog teams so we want to keep a good distance from them all right <laughs>
um, ask us how we control our dogs. And so we do have two lead dogs up there. And those are the dogs that I'm giving my commands to. So if I want them to go left, I'm gonna say the word paw. If I want them to go right, I'm gonna say the word G. A good way to remember that is the word right has a G in it. If I want them to stop, I say, whoa, but they really don't listen to that. So I have a giant metal break back here. And then if I want them to go, I say the commands ready, all right, or hike. A lot of people think we use the word mush. That is something that we refer to the sport as dog mushing. It comes from the French term marche, which means to walk or to march. But the words hike and all right are just a little bit of a harder syllable. And so our dogs listen to it much better. Like and share. <laughs>